Hey everyone, my name is Crisco. I'm going to be doing a quick reading for you guys. Um, we're just going to pull some cards and see what pops out. Nothing specific. <clears throat> yeah, break and trail, end the slow, and begin now. So I feel like whatever that you're going through, it's like you're working, you're putting a lot of effort towards something, right? And like everything is starting to become a little bit more easier. If it isn't now, I feel like it will be soon, okay? You break and trail, breakthrough is at hand. So I feel like after this breakthrough, it might not be now, but after this breakthrough, everything is going to be smooth sailing. And um, the universe wants you to go ahead, or whoever you believe in, universe, God, or whatever, wants you to go ahead and start now. Begin now. Um, take your first step. Don't hold yourself back. Don't allow other people to sway, to sway you. And you got the Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck, which just tells me. And then the Three of Pentacles I just seen, too. So maybe you guys are walking away from something. Um, sorry about the noise. <clears throat> walking away from something to be able to begin something else. Or to be able to rebuild yourself, rebuild something. Okay? Um... The Six of Pentacles, which is talking about generosity, it's also talking about fairness and balance. So, the Moon, Seven of Swords, wow, okay. So, I feel like you guys, with the Moon, the Seven of Swords, and the Six of Pentacles, you guys were dealing with somebody who wasn't being um, true about their feelings, wasn't and somebody that might have liked to uh, run away from their problems, somebody who was deceiving, um, you know, not so nice, right? And somebody who took more than what they gave, right? So I feel like with the Ten of Pentacles, this could have been somebody that you were with. It could have been for about 10 years or something. Or it could have just been somebody that you thought you were going to be able to build a legacy with. But maybe it didn't work like that. You got the Five of Swords, which means now you're fe feeling defeated. You're feeling like this is... This person's playing mind games with you, likes to battle with you, right? But I feel like that's what the universe wants you to go ahead and do is, you know, I feel like you're already working on this, right? <clears throat> Age of Swords, yeah. You're taking a lot of time to think about things, um, really evaluating certain um, things in your life or certain people in your life and kind of just being able to... Um, break away from this okay so that's what i feel like you guys are doing is walking away from deceiving um or or trickery people or trickster people the moon okay the seven of swords those are about both about hiding stuff okay so maybe you feel like people are hiding secrets from you or holding um some type of information from you guys and it's somebody that you thought that you could trust and now you're feeling defeated right but the universe the habit codependency issues this is the devil you could be dealing with a capricorn you could also be dealing with um Capricorn. Okay. That's what I'm seeing right now. And then the King of Pentacles. You might be dealing with the Earth sign or you might be Earth sign. If not, it doesn't have to be, but I just feel like you're dealing with some type of um, situation that you feel like uh, with the uh, King of Pentacles is like somebody that might have controlled your money too. Whatever you're dealing with, I feel like you're trying to get away from. The One of Cups, Ace of Cups, and the Page of Cups. Yeah, you're taking your ideas and turning it into a reality. So you're listening to your intuition more and you're starting something new. Okay, so I feel like you're walking away from the bed and starting a brand